The 60th anniversary specials are coming to an end. As such, it's time to talk about the third and final special. This is of course, The Giggle. Like the first special, The Star Beast, we've known a fair bit about this episode and how it'll play out for some time. It's the episode that will feature Neil Patrick Harris's turn as the Toymaker, as well as the introduction of Shooty Gatwa's 15th Doctor. However, I'm sure there'll still be plenty of surprises and mayhem in store for viewers this weekend. Have no fear however, while someone may be laughing at the human race, they certainly won't be laughing at you before the final special. The team here at Tata Central and I have dug through the promo pics and trailers to give you a good picture of where we find this third and final special and where it will take us. So what does the Toymaker have in store for revenge against the Doctor as one of his oldest foes? Watch on to find out. Spoiler warning, while most of if not all of this comes from promo images and materials, if you want to go into the special and final episode blind, you should probably turn away now. Greetings everyone, I'm Jack and welcome to TARDIS Central. That's right, I've regenerated and I'm back from being ill. I know, right? If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at TARDIS Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doctor Who universe. Okay, let's go. If you've been on the hype train of these special episodes, then Neil Patrick Harris will probably be pretty fresh on your mind. He was unveiled as a guest star back when the specials were filming in 2022. We all pretty much guessed it before it was confirmed, but he's playing with Toymaker, a villain the dog's not faced on screen since 1965. Such a classic villain to pull out of the show's rich 60 year history for the anniversary specials. Knowing what a big guest star he is, it brings a level of buzz that the show has not had for just a while. Harris isn't just big in Doctor Who circles, but he's a proper bona fide international superstar. Hopefully the show manages to utilise his range of skills, which also includes singing and dancing, in the upcoming special episode. We know the episode is directed by Chanya Button. She's best known for work on her films like Burn 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 and shows like The Spanish Princess. While seemingly an unconventional choice, the episode is said to be an absolute insane wild ride. Perhaps her talents for more dramatic moments will fit the regeneration nicely. Many fans have some ideas as to how the regeneration might play out, and the team here at Tata Central and myself simply cannot wait to see what actually happens. Though, if I have to say goodbye to David Tennant again, I don't think I want to go. The cliffhanger of the previous special, Wild Blue Yonder, featured a return of Wilfred Mott as played by the late Bernard Cribbins. More scenes were planned for Wilfred in the giggle, however sadly Cribbins passed away during filming. As such, they had to write around his departure. Before we get too worried, Russell T. Davis has confirmed that the character won't be killed off. Plus, the other members of the Noble family, including Sean, Rose and Sylvia, are on the cast list. So the episode won't be short of Nobles anytime soon. Anywho, we have some preview pictures from the episode to look at, so let's get cracking. But before we do, if you want to learn who the Toymaker is with no spoilers for the upcoming episode, we've actually done a full in-depth video on the Toymaker Explained here on the channel. Check out our Doctor Who Explained series, you don't want to miss this. The first of the previous pictures is of David Tennant's 14th Doctor copying in on the chaos out in the streets of Camden. He looks to be stopping a man from throwing himself in front of a car. Just what the Toymaker has planned for Earth remains to be seen, but it's definitely going to be dark. Speaking of this scene, this was actually a clip from a Doctor Unleashed episode last week, and also this filming took place here in Bristol. It was pretty cool to see this scene take place, especially if you look closely, you can actually see Neil Patrick Harris dancing around in the background. Speaking of a Toymaker, we've got a couple of pictures of him. First is him out on the street dressed in a suit and basking in the chaos he almost certainly has caused, however it does look like we'll be facing something with an outfit change or two across the episodes. The Toymaker does have multiple looks in the giggle, which are pretty cool. He's also seen in a far more odd style suit, this costume looks to be wearing in his toy shop and is also on stage. He looks far more menacing across all of these, mining a kind of terror that we've just not seen and probably viewers aren't ready for. In his toy shop, he's cradling a puppet, it looks a bit like a copy of Stooky Bill. More on that later. Perhaps a creation he's exploiting. He's also seen with Child Emilio, who's playing a character called Child Banjory. This looks like a man who was walking into a toy shop in the original 60th trailer. This exchange could very well set the scene for the chaos to come. Also seen with the puppet is John McKay, as John Logie Baird, one of the real life creators of the television. McKay previously played Baird in a series called Nolly, which was also written and created by Russell T. Davis. The puppet Stooky Bill marked one of the first tests of the then new television technology. Just how his ties into the Toymaker's plans do remain to be seen, but it does look great. He's also seen subjecting the Doctor and Donna to a puppet show of some description, as well as sitting across from the Doctor at a table playing a game of some sort. We know he likes games, that's a no-brainer. 
Back at Unit HQ, the Toymaker is reveling in a terror of his own design, with rose petals floating around, potentially remnants of Unit soldiers, and dancing around on the top of the desk. That'd be kind of dark, wouldn't it? Ruth Madley, Shirley Ann Bingham, introduced to us in the Star Beast, is also back, but she looks shocked and horrified as the Toymaker terrorizes her. Kate Stewart is in the same room, surrounded by petals, and looks far more fed up, understandably so. Although with all the chaos of her recent encounters with the Doctor, it really is just another day at the office. Let's hope she keeps that skyscraper intact. Thankfully, the Doctor is also on the case, kneeling down in a pile of rose petals as the chaos goes on. The same puppet from earlier also looks to be infecting screens around the unit HQ. This could well be the thing laughing at the human race and potentially causing everyone to go mental. In a potentially more normal moment over at unit HQ, we get a look at Alexander Devrian as Colonel Ibrahim. The same soldier is seen manning a helicopter as well as the computer in the base. While this may sound like a background character, Devon has recently reported and been spotted around the future sets for Doctor Who Series 15. He's probably sticking around a little bit. We can't wait to see what he does in the new episodes, and obviously what's upcoming as well, because he kind of looks really good. It's just me. The earliest teaser trailer showed scenes of intense motorbike chases throughout the city. While probably not as big as flipping and exploding a van in the Starbies, it looks like the episode's got its fair share of big action-packed moments. I hope what we get to see through the sort of chaos in Camden is even bigger than what we saw at the end of Wild Blue Yonder. I mean, we did see a plane crashing. The Doctor's reunion with Unit looks to be happening pretty early on, with him travelling by helicopter onto the brand new helipad set. He's seen travelling in the helicopter, a far cry from hanging underneath one in the day of the Doctor. However, he looks just as pleased to see Kate Stewart as in the same episode. Kate and all the Unit forces are seen wearing some sort of armband. We've actually spoke about this in a few videos before, presumably is blocking them from the toy maker's chaotic call, or rather laugh. Just how they come out of this sort of technology does remain to be seen, but it does give them a fighting chance at the very end of the day. In a trailer released by Disney, none other than, spoiler warning, Mel Bush, as played by Bonnie Langford, is visible in the background. She has been edited out and obscured in previous trailers, and is still kept off the cast list, even though it's pretty obvious at this point. The intention is clearly for her return here to be a surprise, However, back when she was originally announced as returning, she was seen wearing one of the aforementioned armbands, making her return a little obvious if you knew where to look. And let's be honest, you all know where to look, we know what Doctor Who fans are like, we live for this, don't we? We estimate she was edited out of a shot on a helipad, where 14 approaches the toy maker, who's using a powerful gun. This is also the galvanic beam. Just what it does, and why the toy maker ends up sitting on it, does remain to be seen, but he's threatening the Doctor's friends, surrounding him on the helipad which is almost certainly not a good idea if the Toymaker values his continued existence. If they get on the Doctor's bad side, everyone. Also, right before everyone's favourite puppet takes over all the screens at Unit HQ, we can see fires and explosions being covered around the world. Perhaps the Toymaker's craziness has gone global, and some places are in the far worse spot than others. There's definitely going to be some big-scale action sequences going on here, and I'm excited for it. But also, one more detail that some of you may love. In the corner of the screen here is a news logo for a station called AMNN, which was previously seen throughout the original Russell T. Davis series era of Doctor Who. This channel is often staffed by Lachelle Carl's Trinity Wells, who is also on the official cast list for this episode. We heard Tardis Central did make a video on this a couple of months ago, predicting her return well in advance based on something Russell T. Davis teased us with. That man can't stop teasing, can he? So, there are teasers posted for the special released by Doc 2 social channels on the 26th of October, alongside posters for the two other specials. This poster features the Doctor and Donna running away from a toy maker with playing cards flying around. The toy maker's looking especially menacing, and is seen in the same outfit as when he's terrorizing Unit in their brand new building. A first TikTok video released across Doc 2 social channels sees the toy maker looming especially large. He is also seen cutting some puppet strings before we cut to the 14th Doctor being surrounded by regeneration energy. The background behind him is pretty similar to the one behind the 15th Doctor in the first trailer, where he says his iconic line, Can anybody tell me what the hell is going on here? We'll put that clip here. Someone tell me what the hell is going on here? A second TikTok video is far more simple, and it was just a clip from the episode. It featured a better clip of a toy maker who you have to listen to. He's speaking to the Doctor in a vaguely German accent. It's camp, it's fun, and very classic, overactive villain coded. In a word, it's perfect. The Doctor looks perhaps a little too shocked for a conversation about a ball game, so this is probably one of the first meetings between the Doctor and the Toymaker. Perhaps where Donna asks who he is, and the Toymaker go, oh, but he's recognising me. The ball is the first game ever being invented. Are you not? Get please, air Doctor, to see me again. 
We don't know exactly what sort of terror lies in store for the Doctor and Donna. It looks like it's going to be 14th Doctor's last stand. I mean, obviously it would be. 60th anniversary specials look to be going out of a bang, full of strange, campy fun, but also insanity. Showrunner Russell T. Davis has called the episode wild and insane, and we're all set to be the longest special of a trilogy with a regeneration of all things. This looks to be holding up. Whatever happens next is going to be one for the history books for Doctor Who. The third and final part of the 60th anniversary special trilogy, The Giggle, airs at 6.30pm on BBC One and premiering on BBC iPlayer in the UK and Disney Plus in the rest of the world this Saturday. It is the 14th Doctor's last stand, so be there or be square. Okay, that's our preview for The Giggle. Um, comment Tuna Madras if you got to this far in the video. No, seriously, do it. If you can spell it, good luck. Maybe I'll leave it in the description for you. And a big thank you for joining us on these preview videos for Doctor Who's 60th anniversary. Don't forget, we'll be dropping our review on Saturday night. You do not want to miss that one. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Doctor Who news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Tardis Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Doctor Who universe. For now, I've been Jack, hopefully regenerating. We'll see you very soon and especially on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.